everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Conquer with the Hosses. One last e-bike review. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure you got, everybody's clicking out of the video, but I'll try and make it fun. Uh, I really do enjoy doing these. I love riding bikes. I love riding e-bikes. So as I do these, I give them to different family members and friends, and uh, everybody seems to have a good time with them and enjoy them. So most of my view, I've said this before, I'm sorry if, if you're getting tired of hearing it. Most of my viewing audience are guys like me, older, retiring guys, retired guys and girls out of the construction industry. And it is so hard to keep moving. This is a great way to keep those joints loosened up, get out there, getting some exercise, meeting people, just having a good time. It's zero impact on the body, so you don't feel all beat up when you're done working out. You just feel good. So that's why I enjoy doing these, because I, I enjoy it so much. So that's why I bring it onto the channel. So today we're doing a Hemiway long range e-bike. So let me get this up to the shop and get it opened up. Okay, I just sent out a massive text. See if anybody wants to come down and help me put this uh, bike together. So I got it up here in the shop. And uh, this is usually how I like to start the videos. Just from the time you open the box, this is how it shows up packaged. And then I go through the unpackaging and assembly of the bike. Um, the nice thing about this one, uh, it has an 80 mile uh, coverage on one charge of the battery. So most of the other bikes I've done we're in the 30s and 40s, so this is double. So this is a really a long range bike. Um, this is the first company that's ever reached out to me doing e-bike reviews. Uh, I still have the bike, it runs great. So I feel very com comfortable talking about them and bringing this onto the channel. So I'm working on uh, an epoxy. This is what I have. <laughs> I'll give you more details on that in case this shows up in the video. Hey, Tom, what's this weird tent setup going? So I'm doing epoxy overlays on wood and, and veining, and I'm really practicing that and getting that going. You got to get it to 75 degrees in there. So to bring the whole shop up to 75, well, that's just that takes a lot of uh, uh, propane and electricity to get up there. So I, I'm just stalling a little bit. I think I see somebody coming in. Um, so I just built a little easy up tent, wrapped it in plastic, now a heater in there, and uh, I can get that. Man, I'll be in a t-shirt and shorts in there working. Uh, so back to the e-bike. Uh, let's get this guy opened up. So that's how it is with the box cut open. Now, as you noticed, I cut around the top, open it up, and then I slice. You don't want to put a razor knife right through these tires or across the fender. So just look, and you can cut right down the corners and unfold it. So now, just go along with some cutters or a knife, but the cutters work real nice, and just start pulling everything away. Man, what a stout frame. This is a good-looking bike. Wow. Uh, so there's usually a box with accessories and instructions. Uh, so just go along, make sure there's nothing tucked into these packing containers. Just cut all this away. So that's why I prefer these over a knife. I don't want to slice a tire, scratch a fender, start getting everything just set aside. And I usually do it on top of the cardboard. And these are just for shipping. These come off. So four inch tires for all terrain. Let's get it opened up.
Okay, Caleb, assembly one, very easy, right? This is the Hemiway Zebra, and it's the D5 model. So everything was marked in the manual. Don't forget to fill out the warranty card. Uh, you get, I believe it's a two-year warranty. We'll go over that shortly. But they mark all the steps that you need to do. And even right here, all the different nuts and bolts are marked in red that you have to undo and then retighten the axle, uh, the handlebars. So it was quite simple. So after you get everything adjusted to your height that you wanted, uh, Caleb's going to show you how to plug in the battery. Just fold that door over, push it in. And then make sure you seal that up when you're done. Plug your charger in. Now, I always talk about these. If these chargers go bad, do not replace it with a different one. Call the manufacturer and get the right charger for the right bike. We don't want anything bad to happen. These things have been known to catch on fire due to overheating. Always store in a nice cool place. I keep mine out in my shed. If they would ever catch on fire, it burns the shed down, right? It doesn't burn the house down. You guys decide where you want to keep it. Uh, keep it safe. Keep it flat on a shelf when it's charging. You can take the battery out charge it and then put it back in the bike you can leave it in the bike and charge it it is entirely up to you but be safe about it keep them in a cool well ventilated area and if you ever feel that battery uh, hot or the charger hot to the touch uh, do not use it any further and reach out to Hemiway and they will replace it they will instruct you on what to do before something bad happens so i can't talk about that enough i feel i covered it pretty well uh, so we use a key to unlock and remove the battery there's a lever right here watch it doesn't drop out though here, let me come over here see how that just pulls away and they're quite heavy, so be ready for it. Okay, and then you just clip it right back in place, latch, and pull the key out. Lock it up. There you go. Now nobody can steal that. Um, we got the Shimano derailleur guard on here. If the bike falls over, you want to protect that. These are a um, good, good uh, line of derailleurs, so we don't want that getting broken. Everything is pre-adjusted uh, on this bike and other bikes that I've gotten, but there are adjustments you can make if needed. It has a 750 watt drive motor and about an 80 mile range. Nice big four inch fat tires, front suspension, light. Let's start going over some of these features. Caleb, can you show me that walk mode again? Okay, you were pretty good at it. So this walk mode is nice if you're going up terrain where you're not comfortable. Is the bike on? So push on. Just hold that on just for a second and the screen will light up. Sometimes it flickers in the camera. So with it set on power level one, if you hit the negative button and hold, now the bike goes into walk mode and you can go up difficult terrain you don't have to pedal see how it just kind of pulls you now this is a big bike for caleb but he's doing very well and you can just wheel it right around right through the oil on the floor <laughs> right around the jack and just bring it right back in there that way you don't have to push it in here not a big deal but going up a rocky terrain that you don't want to ride or a dirt or whatever the reason now you don't have to push the bike so that's called the walk mode it has a nice kickstand right here okay good job man you out of breath <laughs> this bike showed up fully charged one two three four five cells of the battery fully charged plus and minus uh you're in zero mode oh it has a bell so you can take it to one all the way up to five being the fastest. 
So if you're just getting started, started on zero pedal, now you're at 100% pedal mode. You can go through the shifters over here, one being the easiest, seven being the hardest and fastest. So then, as you get comfortable with the bike, you go to power mode one, and if you twist the throttle right here, the bike will start to move. Okay? I had it, I had it. So then, on up to two, three, four, but nothing will happen until you twist the throttle. As you pedal, you'll get power assistance as well. Okay, on to, let's take it out on the road. How's that sound, Caleb? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, as I said earlier, you can twist the throttle and that makes you go, or as soon as you start pedaling, the bike will kick into gear. <laughs> With the bike fresh out of the box, just make sure the bikes work. You know, put them on, see how that back tire is skidding, and I'm only on about 50% pressure. Okay, I'm pushing the bike tire skidding. Front tire, same way, 50%. Just want to make sure those brakes are adjusted. There's a real easy adjustment right here if you need to make that. But test those brakes before you get going. I should have said that earlier. Um, went over the walk mode. How's well, that light look, Caleb? Good. Okay. Bye. On and off switch real easy. Okay, there we are cruising. <laughs> okay, we're a nice easy four. Just give it, I'm not even pedaling. I just give a little twist of the throttle. Just giving Caleb a ride home. It's a great day. It's a little bit cold, huh, Caleb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My feet are on the plate. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we're just heading up the driveway. So, if we were going any further than this, we would definitely have our helmets on. Hey, does your mom have breakfast ready yet? Oh, you ate without me. Oh. Okay, a couple things you can do here on your uh, bike settings. You can adjust your speed limiter. So I took this up to max. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six easy steps to get it through there. They give you a, a passcode. Um, so press and hold the plus and minus and you'll go into that mode. Hold it for two seconds, then press, and it, it tells you this real easy, going right through these steps. Um, press the minus and the I key together for two seconds, and that brings you to the passcode mode. It'll bring it up, and you scroll plus and minus to highlight each number, 0501. Once you get zero, hit the I button, and you'll scroll through the next digit. Scroll up to five, back to I, next digit, and so on. Uh, then it'll confirm the wheel size. Uh, this bike I just confirmed I, and it set the limiter. I took it up to 40. Uh, I went to max, which was 40, and then pressed I and went back to the original screen display. A max speed of 25. So I wanted to look up some of the warranty to talk about it. So it gave me the suggestion going to their hemibike.com pages warranty. So I punched that up and it came up with a two year warranty because they, they say they modify them. So the two year warranty, then it goes through a list of different features. Uh, you can see here the bike sells for about $1,500. It's on sale now for a hundred bucks off. So see what that works with our promotion code, if you're interested. And I'm scrolling down to see about a warranty. Might have to do some research on this to talk about it further. But there it is, folks. And uh, I'll bring you some more data as I feel necessary. So as you pull up that site, 
just head down where it just says warranty and then it goes into a, a whole description two years and just what it covers frame all the way through batteries so a lot of reading to do if you choose to do so okay just wanted to bring that to your attention and so on okay I'm going to close out this video with a quick ride let's get started what a good looking bike now I think I did this in the garage if you're on rough terrain like coming down off of this onto the stone you can just press and hold the minus symbol and it'll go into walk mode now the bike is going all by itself and I'm holding the camera but you can hold the brake on to slow it down and so forth okay I'll get the camera mounted let's go for a ride we'll go over some features okay here we go so we're in zero so you can take it all the way up to five to start twist the throttle and go or you can start out in one you can start out in zero till you get used to the bike now you're all pedaling just beware it's a heavy bike so give it one give a little bit of juice and here we go jump out on the road so very little pedaling take it on up to three four five So there, you know, I'm at 24 mile an hour and I'm barely pedaling. You don't have to ride this fast, but it handles really nice. Okay, I wanted to close this out. I remembered it said on the box, I could not remember the mileage. Right here, 80 miles on a charge. I don't see us getting that. However, we were in sport mode, going up hills, going as fast as we could. Now, if you're in eco mode on the level, slightly downhill, I mean, come on, 80 miles, that's pretty far on a single charge. That's what they claim. Again, please let me know your thoughts. If you have this bike, and uh, we just haven't had it long enough to go on an 80 mile ride uh, other than that it's a great bike and uh, there will be a link in the description if you're interested we'll get you a nice discount as always thanks for tuning in to concrete with the hosses be back pouring concrete tomorrow don't be late thanks